Okay, so today I was working on um, the scene, the comic scene again, but uh, I finished that pretty early. So what I'm doing now is I'm uh, I'm making a few sounds and loops, uh, sound design style through uh, through Ableton Live to um, to dot throughout and pepper throughout the film. So um, I'm I'm finding instruments like you know, like a big pole and random symbols and whatnot and I'm I'm going to just record some raw um, it'll sound pointless but just record some raw sounds just some tinky tinky sounds it's hard to explain like dicka dicka dick just stuff like that that I can um, pros, uh, post process the crap out of and make something useful and um, so that's what I'm going to be doing today and I thought I'd record it why not um, most of it will be useless stuff, most of it will just be binned, but um, some of it will, you know, I can throw some delays and distortion and whatnot on and create some interesting textures for the film that you wouldn't have heard of before. You might have heard similar stuff, but um, so that's what I'm going to be doing. So I've got my microphone, I've got a load of random crap, and I'll just cut and paste some stuff together. So I uh, hope you enjoy. Okay, so I'm recording a, uh, a big poll. Easter egg box, who knows? Bow, guitar. Guitar. Okay, this one's a little bit interesting. I've got a symbol under my shirt. This one's a good one. Screwdriver symbol, small little one, hit it down here and then move it up here so you get the really bassy resonance. Maybe a bit of metal on metal. I call this the helicopter. Okay, I hope you uh, enjoyed that montage there. It was pretty um, pretty interesting to say the least, recording that and trying to do it at the same time. But what I've ended up with uh, is loads of sounds that sound like this. Nice, clean, you know. I'm not sure what I was thinking, but yeah, I got some, some scrapes and whatnot. And now, because people have asked, I thought I'd show you what I do with those sounds once I get them into Ableton Live, which is what I've got here. Okay, so what I've done, uh, what I'll do is I'll I'll do a demonstration of how I'd make a like a functional sound out of that random crap. So I've uh, I've soloed a, a sound that I like from there. It goes like this, which is just uh, me wearing my rings, my metal rings, and then scraping them up a bar. I think it actually was longer than that. Yeah, so I've cut this out and I've consolidated it so that it's. Uh, so it's its own separate WAV file here. This is all non-destructive, by the way. So this file's maintained its integrity, and it's still this this part here is actually still in there. But okay, for now I'll work on this. So that's that's what I'm starting with. So uh, things that I normally do is I'll slow it down. Wonderful. Bring it down maybe five semis, six semis. Sounds great. And these, uh, f I mean, I wouldn't always use just Ableton Live uh, effects, but for the sake of showing people how powerful Ableton Live is for sound design scoring, here's a quick demonstration. So I'll put on some delay. 
ping pong delay uh, doing triplets. Sounds fantastic. Bit of grain delay, which uh, which kind of adjusts the, uh, the the actual sound, like the actual frequencies and pitch and such. Sounds good. And now we'll put a bit of auto filter on, but the filter is not going to move. So basically, I'm just doing a band pass here in the upper mids. Sounds good, but it still sounds a bit too fast. Stretch it out even more. Okay, we're getting somewhere. Where we can stretch out even more. So we've got a kind of um, Almost like a, almost like a dark pad. Just get it nice where it sounds good. Now what I'll do is I'll load up a an instance of Simpler. And now this is the best thing I can just drag this file that I've been working. Oh well, first okay. First, I'll freeze it down so that it's got those effects on. So, audio, I freeze this. And now, what it'll do is freeze all those effects on top. And I just drag this onto the new audio file. Join them together so it's got the tail. It's great. Right now, I'll look at simpler and just drag that consolidated file in. And now, playing my MIDI keyboard. Uh, increase the release on that a little bit. So that... And there we go. Got a nice dark pad. I'll bring the start in a little bit and make the attack a bit slower. bring this in, I can put a loop point here. And there's a way. There we go. So now it's looping, I mean I would obviously make that a better better cut but there you go that's how i make sounds in ableton live using random clangy crap that i do when i'm bored well i'm not bored but you get me anyway uh, i hope you enjoyed today's special video blog and um hope you keep tuning in thanks